Mainly three main companies are beefing up their flagship game. Google's and Apple's flagships are already in the market, but Samsung's next flagship is yet to come early next year. So let's compare the general specs of Google's and Apple's flagships in this video. So hey guys, my name is Ayush and you are watching Doting Tech. Since two best phones of two companies are launched, people may be confused which phone to buy. So let's compare general specs of Google's Pixel 8 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max in this video. Apple has lighter titanium frame compared to Google's aluminium frame. Both phones have dual SIM support with one eSIM and one physical SIM with IP68 rating. Both phones have 6.7-inch LTPO OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate, which can go down to 1Hz. The resolution of iPhone 15 Pro Max is 460 pixel per inch, whereas that of Pixel 8 Pro is 489 pixel per inch. Apple's phone is protected by ceramic shield and Google uses Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Apple's iPhone comes with iOS 17 out of the box with 3 nanometer base A17 Pro process, whereas Pixel comes with Android 14 out of the box with 4 nanometer base Tensor G3 process. Performance-wise, Apple's chipset is better in every way than Google's Tensor, but for common people, it will hardly make any difference. On camera department, both phones have triple rear camera and single front camera setup. Apple has 48 megapixel wide with sensor shift OIS. 12 megapixel periscope telephoto with 3D sensor shift OIS and 5x optical zoom, and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with a lighter scanner in the back. Whereas Google has 50 megapixel wide with multi zone laser and OIS, 48 megapixel telephoto with 5x optical zoom, 48 megapixel ultra wide, and an infrared sensor in the back. Both phones can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, but Apple has some special features like ProRes, cinematic mode, and 3D spatial video. On the front camera department, Apple uses 12 megapixel sensor while Google uses 10.5 megapixel sensor, both capable of recording 4K at 60 frames per second. Apple can record cinematic video, whereas Google can't. Both phones have dual speaker setup with stereo speakers iPhone has very fast face ID system, whereas Google uses under-display fingerprint sensor, which is quite slow. Apple has 4,441 mAh battery with 25-watt wired and 15-watt wireless MagSafe-compatible charging, but Google has slightly bigger 5,050 mAh battery with 30-watt wired and 23-watt wireless charging with no MagSafe-like feature. Thanks to the Europe government, Apple now dumped its lightning cable and now is using USB-C universal charger across all its devices. So what's my opinion? I think the people who need a regular flagship phone with low intensive tasks should go with Pixel. But if you really want a pro phone with all the bells and whistles, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is no brainer. Thanks for watching the video and please consider subscribing our channel for future updates and reviews. Bye and may God bless all of you.